yesterday I made a video uh, where let me just tell you special this is up where black lives matter uh, stated that if you are a Christian then you are white supremacist okay you're a hater if you love Jesus then you're white supremacist and I shared this video in this Christian group on Facebook uh, which I made yesterday and this white woman was bold she came forward and she said in her in her statement if loving Jesus makes me a white supremacist then I am guilty as charged many people scream oh my god she's admitting to being a white supremacist she's admitting to being a white supremacist she's a hater and I replied to her message I said to her don't forget on my logo I've got a piano so they can't see that I'm black okay and I said to her I said look you said you're a white supremacist because you love Jesus Christ I said to her but guess what I'm a white supremacist too because I love Christ and if that's the charge then I'm guilty and I said guess what and I'm black so how does that work now if she was a racist she would not have replied with this wisdom and she replied and she says welcome to the family of Christ my black brother we are one in Christ so what she's saying is if loving Christ makes me a hater then I am guilty as charged this is very deep and you know something under that charge that makes me whiter than most white people out there why because I love Christ and I will die for his name that makes me white according to Black Lives Matter according to their definition if you do not deny Jesus Christ then you are a white supremacist look this accusation you know using the race card is is not it, it's happened a lot you know it's, it's prominent it, it's not unusual pedophiles now um if i can find the photo i'll upload it that says no white supremacy no anti-islam no racism wait for it no pedophile bashing this is where it gets you this craziness this what you call it in philosophy exotism where anything goes this progressive satanic nonsense if you want to push your your cause forward you do it under the guise of attacking white supremacy so no islamophobia you know no racism and wait for it no anti-lgbt now no pedo bashing white supremacy has to go no pedo bashing this if you want to justify anything all you have to do is attack the the banner of white supremacy so oh you know if you love jesus you're white supremacist you know this is the boogeyman that they use to shut people down the boogeyman oh you're white supremacist and immediately it shuts down all debate all intellectual why do you think universities oh my god they're so liberal you're not there to learn anymore you're not there to follow logic and science the universities has been taken over by a satanic liberal agenda who would have believed that oxford and cambridge and harvard men of great learning who study the universe and physics now they become effeminate and i don't use that term effeminate in a derogatory term against women they become effeminate weak and spineless now their sciences even chuck is what's his name richard dawkins who wrote the god delusion i think richard dawkins science has become illogical because the leftist has jumped in on the bandwagon and like a rocket or you know the rocket now rename it into a feminine you know pronoun it's become ridiculous hence why when donald trump said that 
the universities are taken over by leftist agenda. Whether you like Donald Trump or not, this is not this is irrelevant. Is what whether what he's saying is true, and he's right. The university universities are taken over by leftist. How do they do it? I don't know. But the Bible says we rest in Ephesians six. We wrestle not against flesh or blood, but principalities and darkness who rules in high places. So the leftists who are anti-Christ, anti-order, anti-discipline, anti-logic, anything goes the mind of leftists, anything, incest, you name it. You will, well, I'm sorry, slightly, right? However, in the mind of leftists, anything goes. Hence why the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh or blood. What power has given the leftists so much authority to destroy family life, to destroy, please, healthy nationalism. I use that term, healthy nationalism. What power would give the leftist so much authority? Something does not make sense. But look at the leftist agenda now. Now they're going against Christianity, which is what they've always been about. Let me prove my point. In the 80s, I'm sure it was the 80s, when we were talking about heaven and hell, etc., metaphysics, you know, blah, blah, blah. And the liberals would argue, well, you know something? Heaven will be boring. Heaven will be boring. Why is heaven boring? You know, and hell will be exciting. What did they mean? Excuse me. What did they mean? Hell will be exciting. This was the liberal agenda. Chaos, disorder, anti-nationalism will be, you know, full of fun. Full of fun. But heaven will be boring. Heaven, how God created you. Look, whether you're white, whether you're black, you're beautiful. If you're black, you're beautiful. If you're white, you're beautiful. God created us in that way to love ourselves. But the liberal says, no, you can be a frog. You can be a giraffe. This is their disorder. This is their progressive, you know, I mean, we talk upon humanism. And did you know Karl Marx and humanism is actually built on the Illuminati, satanic New World Order to undermine Christianity? I have a whole library. Look, when I left school, you, you wouldn't believe it. I was a rebel. <laughs> a rebel, of course. But I was a rebel, right? So I left school with no qualifications whatsoever. I came to a later on in my life, but I left school with no qualification. And what did I do? I used to live in the library. I read about psychology, sociology, philosophy. There's nothing about philosophy I don't understand. I used to, I used to love philosophy. And I tell you something now, right? It is built on an anti-Christian premise of which the liberal agenda <coughs> find a strength. And this was happening now. You look at you look at civilization, look at this this cultural collapse, this Marxism. So now you're a white supremacist if you love Jesus Christ. Well, in the court of law, you have to try me also with my white brothers and my white sisters, because I too, under that charge, I'm a white supremacist. Because why? I love Jesus Christ. You see, when you're going to use that platform, you confuse them. You see, they don't mind saying that a little boy, you know, can decide he's a girl. A little girl can decide she's three years old and two years old. This is child abuse. But they can decide when they're two and three. This is the liberal agenda. It's satanic. It's evil. And the church is not even preaching against it. You wonder why I worship God in my music room, praise and worship. If you want to join me, you know, send me a Zoom invite, right? But you know, why do I worship God in my music room? Praise and worship. I don't go to church. You want to see the miracles there. Why? Why is it not one church is preaching against the liberal agenda? Why? 
In fact, that's a good um, video to make next. Why is the church not preaching against the liberal agenda? Something does not add up. I will tell you why. They're eating from the same trough. These preachers, these deacons, they're eating the church conference, the multimillionaires. They're eating from the same trough as the satanic new world order. which is why they have nothing to say about the decline of family values. They have nothing to say. In a way, this, uh, I, so I'm going to keep this video short because I hate editing it. And don't worry, it promises to get stronger and healthier. So please don't forget to subscribe.